Oh boy, oh boy. Hey Mary Beth. I just got my breathing back. Oh my Lord. <laughs> hey guys, hi. Hello, hello. Oh my God. I can't even see so I can't tell who's on, so forgive me. But I gotta tell you, this was the most heartbreaking, oh my Lord, State of the Union speech, emotional, up and down. I, I, I'm like amazed, I really am. I'm, I'm so amazed. Forgive me if I can't see who's coming on, but I know you're there. And uh, I I just can't, I'm telling you, for a while there, I had to go get my nasal spray because I'm so choked up. I felt like, you know when you're just crying and crying and crying, and then when you think you're composed, here comes another. Um, the one thing I want to say, was it just me that noticed for a minute there, when the president walked away, I thought he was getting a little, uh, you know, I just said to myself, is he okay? Did, did anybody else notice that? That when he walked away, especially, I guess, you know, look what Pelosi had to do. She had to, uh, to rip, you know, like, like, you know, uh, but I'll tell you, did anybody else notice that, uh, let me see if I could put my glasses on. Hold, hold on, hold on. And see, now my glasses got foggy. Uh, I got a little uh, worried because he seemed like when, he, when he, he walked away, it was like, if you know how you just get hot, you can't wait for it to be over. So I guess, um, he just, he didn't leave anything out. Oh my God. He just didn't leave anything out between the rush, between Rush Limbaugh. I'm telling you that got me between the, the, the other people, the, the, the little girl that got the choice of the school between the, the soldier returning the older gentleman, I mean, it could go on and on and on. And I'll tell you what, she's very rude. Nancy Pelosi is very rude, but I knew, and I kept saying to myself, I hope now when he walks away, he does not acknowledge her. And I am so proud. I am so proud he did that to her. He did that to her, but did you see who she had to be looking over? What was she wearing a, 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 a thing? I wouldn't be surprised if she was wearing a microphone. I'll tell you, it's disgusting. Those Democrats should be ashamed of themselves. It, they should be ashamed of themselves. I'll tell you right now. I was in tears. Look, when he came out and he ignored her, he ignored her. I thought, yeah, that was the best, the best thing he did. He did. And I'll tell you what, to hear them chanting four more years, USA, USA, four more years. I'll tell you what, they should be embarrassed. Did you see the pictures of Adam Schiff and Nadler? And then they would show things. They should be embarrassed. I'll tell you right now. This was superb. This was out of the park. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. And he did it. And I am so glad that he snubbed that bitch. I'll tell you right now. There is definitely something wrong. I swear I don't know what I find out. I'll tell you. 
she looked like she had her makeup done from one of the funeral parlors in one of the areas. I'll tell you right now. It was, oh my God, just the thing with Rush. I'll, I'll be honest with you. And then when our first lady, I had, I was hoping that as I was videoing it, I couldn't see. I'm telling you, I, I couldn't see. And it was such a moment that even not a peep out of the dogs, I'll tell you, like, it was like we were all watching. We were all watching. He, he had one of the best speeches, one of the best. And I'm so happy that people in other countries saw this. Yes. Other countries saw this. He didn't leave anything out. I'm telling you. I don't even want to hear the crap of whoever is coming out. There is no way they could debunk or, or rebuttal this speech. I'll tell you right now. They can't do that. They can't do that. He is the best president. And I can say this. I've seen so many presidents. I'm telling you. One of the best. And they can't handle it, guys. They can handle it. I don't even know what they were doing. When Does anybody know what were they doing when they got up? What was that about? Anybody can tell me? Did anybody hear it? Did anybody hear when, when they were going? You remember when they all got up? And what they do? Wear all the same white suit like they had from last year? They probably had it. And you know what? I have to say, though, uh, what's her name? Cin Cinnamon, okay? She's a rebel because she did it again. She got up. She stood up and she clapped. See what I'm talking about? Yup. Does anybody know what were they chanting about? Uh, what, what, what was it when they got up and they were going like this? What, what was that about? Did you see that? I am just so overwhelmed. I am so overwhelmed. I'm telling you now. I, I, I'll tell you, I couldn't eat anymore. You know, today I, I was busy helping a, a very close friend that's like family to me and Missy. And then I said to her, I said, you know, I got to have something to eat. I almost choked on the spaghetti when, because uh, Missy made me uh, spaghetti with garlic and oil. Does anybody know... Uh, what were they yelling about? Does anybody know? I guess it wasn't important because I'm, I'm asking everybody. Did you guys know? Did you guys know what? You know what? He has laid out. Now, you have to understand something. You know how in, in July 18th, the rally that Jill went to, and I watched Muffin. I was going to go because I was sick. So that rally was supposed to be the start of his campaign. I'm telling you now. You want to know something, guys? That speech was the start of his campaign. And it's going to be fitting tomorrow when he's acquitted. When this man, you know why else I was crying? I'm going to tell you why. Because in the back of my head, as he's reading all of that, to look at those people and what they were putting this man through is disgusting. It's utterly disgusting. It really is. And I'll tell you what, he slammed them. He slammed every single one of them. And I'm going to tell you, it was Epic, but I was a little worried about him when he walked off. He had that very stoic, he just wanted to get out of there. I, that's how I believe. He said what he had to say and he walked off. Something I would have done and every single one of you guys, that's what you do. You go out there, you say what you say and he didn't acknowledge her. He did not turn around and I was so happy, but you know, Pence, I felt bad for Pence, but you know what? They know what's going on. They know what's going on. He didn't leave anything out. 
That's what I'm talking about. There are things now, see? Not only did he say all the things he's done for us as a country, but listen, he, he outlined the things that he's going to do. This is going to be another watch on as he's campaigning. He's going to outline, outline all the things, just like the other election when he went out there. And he campaigned on promises, more promises, and he's going to keep them. There is no way that this man cannot win. And if anything, it's going to be because they cheated. And you know what? There was a, 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 a moment there. I'm not kidding. There was a moment there that I thought... Something was going to break out. Because I'll tell you right now. Those Republicans would have kicked and wiped their ass. He, they would have wiped their ass out of that place. Because for a minute there, did you get? I did. I was like, whoa, we might see a civil war tonight. We might see a civil war tonight. I'll tell you what. I can't get over. I don't know if I want to run and scream and jump for joy. For a little while there, I, I felt like, you know when you're a kid and you're crying and you're crying and you're crying? I'm like, you know what? I was just, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm blown away. And I wanted more. I didn't want him to stop. Tell me, there has to be something with him because I'm not the only one feeling this way. And when we have a president that's making people feel this way... I never thought I would ever say, I love you, Mr. President, because that's what I said in there. No way, no way have any of us. It's a bunch of people. We're all like this for this man because we are happy. And you know what? They're the blame. They're the blame. That's, I'm always going to say it. They are the cause of President Trump. And look what he said in the beginning of his speech. Okay? How he watched and saw. Do you know? See? See why? I'm going to tell you. Watching her face, she let out a lot of crap. Because the president said about China how they were taking advantage. Did you see her? You know? Yeah, you know why? Because her... And Diane Feinstein, they're all corrupt. They're all corrupt. And that's why the president said that. And that's why he watched and watched for years. That's why he got in this race. He got in this race. I'll tell you, it was epic. I, I hope I didn't leave anything out. You know, it was, this was epic. epic and I'll tell you, this this was the greatest ending we needed. And tomorrow, it's going to be another great day. I'll tell you now. All of them. I'm even surprised that Adam Schiff and they went. I'm surprised. I really am. I really thought they, they weren't going to go. I really am. But I'll tell you, when, when our first lady, I, I, I really thought that Rush Limbaugh was gonna was gonna break down. I really, really did. And you know what? They can't beat this. They cannot beat this. And do me a favor, don't go and listen to their rebuttal. You know what? So you know, you know, I'll tell you. If I was that Democrat that they picked to come out and do the rebuttal, I would have got up there and went like this. There's nothing that can beat that. I'm sorry. I'm just telling the truth. Sorry. Nothing can beat it. Sorry. I can't read this because you know what? Yeah, I am a Democrat, but you know what? There is no rebuttaling this speech that this man gave. That's what a real good person would have done. So, I don't know. I got to... Uh, Get some more nasal spray because I'm I'm like really uh but I told you guys I would come come back on and uh you know so 
I'll tell you, this, this was epic. It is the greatest, the greatest. And I can tell you guys, I've seen a lot of presidents in my time. And I'm telling you, to even pay attention, okay? To even want to listen to him. Epic. And you know what? I truly believe he has one of the greatest speechwriters along with himself. There is nobody going to tell me that this man has not put his work into that speech. All the time. Yep, I saw that. But you know what? They're going to make a big thing about that. He knew they were going to do that. He knew. But, well, she could be, she's, personally, she's looking like a fool. Because what she did show is that either she got a wrong copy of the speech. Because that's what I was laughing at. And that's what I put out. She got the wrong uh, copy. And that's what she didn't like. Or, you know, she just, that's why my shirt fits. Look at this. I say it all the time. Look at this. That's right. Impeach my ass. That's how I feel. Impeach my ass. See? We just proved it. Right? Economy booming because of Trump. Wake up, people. Look. See? That's right. So, she's going to go... I'll tell you, I just, I got to absorb this. I really do. Uh, I don't, I don't know who, who made them up, that, but it's ridiculous. You know, I got to tell you something. They didn't even clap. Do you know how many things they could not clap? They didn't even clap for the young black girl with the school thing. Did you see that? What about that? They couldn't even clap. How, how, you know what I mean? To me, they are the racist party. Because if you watched how many things, they couldn't even clap. That's sick. That is really, really sick. Did you see the faces? Du Durbin, did you see his face? That's why for a period there, even on Nancy Pelosi... Was she in the same country? This is what I'm saying. So I don't know, guys. I got to go and change and whatever. But this was epic. This was epic, guys. This was brilliant. He looked great, the president, except when he was leaving. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm putting more into that. But when he went like this, I don't know if he got hot. You know, you never know with them. They could have turned the heat. And he just wanted to get out of there. I think he did that. He, he, you know, look, they were all disrespectful. We, we knew this was happening, but you know what? He slammed it to them. He slammed it to them. You go, President Trump. Like I said, the way you have to look at this, this was now his kickoff. Okay? I know, July 18th of 2019. He kicked off his election. But you know what? This speech, for me, is the kickoff of his election. Good night, guys. I love you. I love you, President Trump. And we are behind you. And tomorrow is another great day. Okay? Until they come up with something at 4 o'clock in the morning. But we'll be on it. So have a good night. Love you guys.